Angry Guy here and welcome to Crypto News Daily. We've got a ton of great stories for you today. Everything ranging from uh, regulation that is set to hit India that could potentially result in the price of cryptocurrency skyrocketing globally. Uh, Facebook is doing some really interesting things with Global Coin right now. I talked about that yesterday. That's supposedly the name or the code name of the new coin that they're planning to roll out. And also, we have a story regarding the future of Litecoin and why Litecoin may potentially increase by 10 times. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Our first story up today is actually going to be about Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg reportedly held talks with Will <laughs> Winklevoss twins about Facebook's crypto plans. All right, so for those of you that don't know who those twins are, the twins are the guys from the social network movie who Mark Zuckerberg evidently stole the idea of, for Facebook from. And, and uh, basically they sued him and they won something like $40 million, if I recall, something like that. That was their settlement. And uh, <clears throat> since then, they've done a number of things. They invested a significant portion of that in money into Bitcoin. They also participated in the Olympics, if I recall. And now they opened their own cryptocurrency exchange called Gemini. It's been up and running since 2015. And it's been doing some very interesting things. They're actually looking, I think, believe to start a Bitcoin ETF. And Zuckerberg is evidently now in talks with them. Facebook's founder, Mark Zuckerberg, has held talks with his old rivals, the Winklevoss twins, about the social media's giant developing digital currency. The Financial Times reported on Thursday. This comes directly from CNBC. Like I said before, the twins found Gemini Trust, which began trading in Bitcoin, uh, trading as a Bitcoin exchange in New York in 2015. And the twins often remember, are often remembered for suing Zuckerberg, claiming the Facebook founder stole their idea for the social network platform when the trio attended Harvard University. From what I remember, their their original network was something like a dating site for students, and he decided just to make it like an all-around site that people could use to just communicate on. But still, yeah. So Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg has held talks with his old rivals, the twins, as the social media giant plans to launch its own cryptocurrency, the Financial Times reported. Facebook has held talks with cryptocurrency exchanges, Gemini, which was founded by the twins and Coinbase, the newspaper said Thursday. The company is reportedly working on a way to use cryptocurrency to facilitate payments through WhatsApp. The currency also would allow Facebook's 2 billion users to exchange money as well as buying things on Facebook's other platforms like Instagram, the Financial Times said. Now, Coinbase didn't immediately respond to CNBC request for comment. Gemini declined to comment and a Facebook spokeswoman decided to decline to comment. So basically, this means it's all true, calling the report speculative, which means it's all true, okay? So Cameron and Tyler, Tyler Winkovlis, okay? Uh, boss, I'm, I'm totally screwing up that name, are often remembered for suing Zuckerberg, we said that already, and the twins later won $65 million settlement from the lawsuit. So yeah, they, they got $65 million, almost like 40 something, they got 65, and I think they tried to go back to court and get more, and the judge was like, uh, no. So here's where things get interesting. The twins initially bought 200,000 200,000 coins, bitcoins at $7 a piece, according to Mesrich. When Bitcoin reached $10,000, they had $2 billion, he said. And the cryptocurrency could be a, be a $19 billion revenue opportunity for Facebook. So those twins are sitting on about 200,000 coins. And evidently, from what I've heard, they haven't really sold. I don't know if they've ever sold any of them. Now, Bitcoin is currently trading at around eight thousand dollars a share, eight thousand dollars a coin. You keep trading it like like uh, like stock, and the currency is still well off its high of twenty thousand at the end of twenty seventeen. But it has made significant progress in coming back from earlier this year, where it was trading as though I think it was like three thousand or close like thirty five hundred dollars, and now it's all the way back up to eight thousand, and that happened in just like it literally jumped like four thousand. Four thousand dollars in like the last month or month and a half. So yeah, things are pr things are moving pretty really rapidly with 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 uh, with uh, Bitcoin. So all right, we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and jump on over to 
the future of Litecoin because I think that's one that you guys are waiting for. So uh, basically, the future of Litecoin in the cryptocurrency world is really taking an interesting turn right now. So far, the price of Litecoin saw a steadfast and increasing ding an increasing dangerous run at the beginning of 2019. The market capitalization of Litecoin in the year 2019 began with 200 percent. 200% higher only in six months. The long-time cryptocurrency enthusiasts and investors are highly likely to trade the Litecoin tokens. Their only gain is to attain maximum profit. However, experts are currently suggesting that in the near future, Litecoin will again see growth in market capitalization. According to recent predictions, the market capitalization of Litecoin will increase up to 140% gradually over the next three months. Not three years, three months. Furthermore, this will enable the token to reach $220 after, uh, after over a year. I think it may happen before then, actually. And uh, the predicting halving of Litecoin, the cryptocurrency enthusiasts are still looking forward to the halving of Litecoin. By the looks of it, the dissection in the block reward is going to be around 50%. So 25 LTC would become 12.5 LTC. So it's going to become more difficult to mine Litecoin. It's going to become more rare. And as a result, each coin is going to be worth more. So, I mean, it's the, it's the law of supply and demand. And, uh, you, know, you know, basically people want it. It's harder to get it. So, you know, now they're going to have to pay more for it. So it's going to increase the value of them as a result of that. Now, let's see here. Now, since the inception of cryptocurrency, the halvings are nothing but bullish catalysts for proof of um, <laughs> for people. But the uh, but at the end of the day, the concept is still underlying and it is definitely it is definitely something that will uh, send the price of litecoin skyrocketing up so litecoin could see increases of 10 times in a very short period of time as of when the halving takes place and that's a huge 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 deal guys so i want you guys to look out for that all right as for the halving of litecoin it's right around the corner the optimistic investors are crossing their fingers while they expect the cryptocurrency to increase uh, as high as $220 before to, uh, 2019, um, August 2019. So, I mean, again, take that how you will, but again, I mean, if you're, if you're holding some Litecoin right now, I honestly would recommend not selling it, because, I mean, we're, Litecoin is essentially like the bit, like the silver to uh, Bitcoin's gold. So, <laughs> I mean, definitely, 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 definitely don't just, uh, don't 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 be foolish enough to sell. I mean, right now we, there's other reports saying that will Litecoin rally to a thousand dollars after it halves in August 2019. So it is halving in August 2019, and it's seeming highly likely that it'll, it will probably go to at least 500. So, as I said, if you have Litecoins right now, please, please, please don't be that guy. Don't be like I'm just saying. Please, please, please don't be that guy. Don't sell your Litecoins. All right. All right, and, and our final story today, uh, we're talking about well, crypto regulation, a crypto regulation bill could be introduced in upcoming, in an upcoming budget session in India. So there will be more clarity on cryptocurrency regulations by next month, said uh, the DEA, and the DEA in, in the U.S. that stands for, you know, uh, like enforcement agency but in this we're actually talking about the DEA in in India and that stands for Department of Economic Affairs and uh, basically here's what's happening an interdisciplinary commission chaired by the DEA Department of Economic Affairs secretary Subhash Ch Chandra Garj uh, in um, that's in India submitted its report last month which included the draft for a crypto regulate regulatory framework depending upon the cabinet's approval and stance on cryptocurrency the draft bill called um, the draft bill could be introduced in Parliament during the session now you want to know is this draft pro or pro or against crypto refusing to directly comment about whether the, pro the report is uh, for cryptocurrency or for for their against it, the DFA, DA official said the India needs a regulatory framework in either case, which at present is not there. The existing Preventing of Money Money Laundering Act and related Indian Penal Code section have limited appeal to crypto related businesses. The upcoming regulatory framework will directly address them. So, if the country does not complete like all out ban it, it 
will it could potentially open the door for millions of people to begin using cryptocurrency for a number of different things there may end up having to be some specific things done to determine to ensure that payments are more transparent like figuring out who's sending what payments and reporting to their monitor to their their version of the irs but again with india's giant market i mean india has a uh, I mean, how many people are in how many how many people are in uh, in India right now? That's that 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 is a that that's a great question because uh, that's going to tell us the potential number of people uh, that they can serve. In 2017, it was 1.339 billion people. So India had um, had 1.3 billion people in 2017, and I'm I'm obviously thinking it's going to be much higher than that right now. China actually has 1.386 billion, so that's that's I'm actually surprised. But yeah, so India is a giant demographic, and if cryptocurrency becomes legalized in India, you have to understand they've already moved away from uh, from fiat currency, from paper currency. They're di they're digitalizing everything as it is. So if there is a room if they actually do put regulatory framework that does legalize it in the country and allows people to use it on their specific uh, on their specific uh, situations and it's not too restricted then i mean you're bringing literally a billion people in and again right now they've been like pulling back on money they don't want people using money because of and like you know paper money because of uh, drug laundering they're trying to like keep it all in the bank so like you have to do everything electronically so cryptocurrency would make a lot of sense in the country and uh, that could make a huge that would make a huge difference i mean a billion people over a billion people being able to use cryptocurrency to buy everything from from you know paying their phone bills like what's happening with at&t now at&t is going to start accepting uh payments in cryptocurrency and bitcoin uh through the bitpay app i talked about that in yesterday's video and i mean something like this i mean it would open up an entire industry to them so again take from it what you will we'll know next month what's going to happen whether or not india will become more friendly towards crypto and if people in India will begin will be able to start using crypto to make regular payments and and just every do other things in general like we've seen happen and maybe even like uh, cryptocurrency ATMs so all right guys so that's everything for today let me know what you think about all of this if you you know if you're excited for the potential that litecoin could be going up by a thousand times i think that's pretty exciting if you own some for example i mean i definitely need to pick up some more pick up so i don't know if i actually have any litecoin right now so that's something i have to definitely add to my portfolio and uh, also what do you think about this whole facebook coin again be personally like you know i i don't trust it i think there are a lot of people who will still end up using it just because you know they're desperate for like you know they're desperate for money and facebook will probably provide a ton of incentives to get you know to force you into their ecosystem but you have to remember that facebook is not like you know it's 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 less it's it's less secure than keeping your money in a bank all right it's less secure than keeping your money in a bank but anyway i want to know what you guys think in the comments let me know if you're if you're something you're looking forward to what you think about what's happening in the end the potential of bringing in a lot more people into the uh ecosystem let's 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 talk about in the comments and uh, if you guys are loving these videos please remember to share them on social media so that i can continue putting out these great putting out quality content for you and more people can subscribe to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell this way you will always get a notification whenever i'm putting out a new video live streaming upload a new video all right guys let me know what you think about everything that we discussed today love god get money and shares